Hey everybody, this is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, and today we're heading out to a local park to try my hand at a new hobby, birding. Now if you've watched this channel before, you know that I am a herpetologist at heart. But in the wintertime, when my favorite reptiles are brumating several feet underground, I sometimes turn my attention and camera lens to our feathered friends. Now, the original goal of today's video was to find and film a northern cardinal, which is not a rare species, but one that I have not had a chance to film, well, at least not in recent years, for the channel. But along the way, I made a terrifying personal discovery. I like birding. It was so much fun spotting a little tuft of feathers in the distance, and zooming in with my camera to reveal more and more details, and then trying my best to guess at the species that I was observing. It's another small brown one. It turns out the little brown one is actually a Carolina wren, a common but shy species which can be found throughout the southeastern US. These birds use their uniquely shaped bill to feed on a variety of invertebrate species, and are famous for the complex songs that bonded males and females will sing to each other. Next up was the familiar species that we had actually shown on the channel before, the white-throated sparrow. These songbirds feed almost exclusively on seeds, and actually come in tan and white-striped color morphs. White-striped individuals are more aggressive than their tan companions, but males and females of opposite colors tend to select each other as mates more often than those of the same color. I don't know what the function of that adaptation is. Birds are weird. At this point in the day, I'd seen some neat species, but still no northern cardinal. As I headed back to my car, I spotted a larger bird foraging in the underbrush. As I slowly snuck closer, I saw that it was not a northern cardinal. However, this was a species that I didn't even expect to see today, and is arguably just as cool as a cardinal, the eastern towhee. This is a very distinctively colored bird that I've only seen in the wild on a handful of occasions before today often no more than glimpsing their iconic orange sides, black dorsal coloration, or cream-white underbellies through the underbrush. Towhees are giant sparrows, which can be found year-round throughout the majority of the southeastern U.S., and are edge habitat specialists. Just like the individuals that I found today, towhees are commonly observed energetically foraging on forest edges for the huge variety of foods that make up their diet. Everything from invertebrates to seeds to fruits to grains, and even the leaves and flowers of certain plants are on the menu for a tohi, all of which are processed for digestion using a sturdy and relatively sharp bill. Adult males will establish large territories in which they will forage for food and hopefully nest with a female, which are similar in size to males but have tan-colored feathers on the dorsal part of their bodies. A ground nesting species Towhees often construct their nests in dugout dishes beneath the ground, or in dense and low-lying shrubbery. Females typically lay about one to three broods of eggs per year, and each brood contains about two to six eggs. Now these eggshells actually vary pretty widely in coloration and pattern, a unique feature of this species. Towhees are considered a species of low conservation priority but populations may have declined by as much as 50% since 1966. This decline is likely due mostly to human development, encroaching upon and reducing the amount of suitable forest edge habitat that's available to the species. Without these wild areas, towhees have nowhere to forage or nest, and must try to relocate to suitable habitat, or may simply be outcompeted by more generalistic species. Alright everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed learning about some of North Carolina's native bird species, and I look forward to exploring this new hobby with all of you over the next few months. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider leaving a like, and subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content, coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, feel free to check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out. 
Okay, full disclosure, I did just see Cardinal in that tree right there for like four seconds, but I'm not counting it. So I guess we'll have to wait till later for a Cardinal video.